This is a quick tutorial video on how to use Excel to plot um, a generic graph. This here we have is our final product. Uh, as you can see, we, I have some sample points. Uh, these are just example points. And this might be a data that you collected in your lab and you want to plot this in a graph. So this is the final product we're going to try to get. Um, so let's start with just our points. So first, you're going to want to put your points in the graph, and Excel makes this very easy to plot. So all you have to do is select your data, go to Insert, Scatter, and click the one you want. I prefer to click the one with just points, and Excel automatically creates the plot for you. Um, I like to delete this uh, series if you only have one variable, because that's your you don't need to have the label um, and then you want to go to layout and under this label section you want to put in your axis titles so title below this is time uh, remember to put seconds in your axis uh, units in your axis titles so this is seconds you can go to our vertical axis and you can choose between rotated vertical or horizontal. I'm going to pick rotate it. I'm going to type temperature and this is in Celsius. This is in Celsius. And then I'm going to change the title to temperature of steel. Okay, so now very easy. As you can see Excel makes it very easy. But now we want to add a trend line. So to add a trend line, what you want to do is click on the points and then right click and then click add trend line. Then you can pick between very a variety of points. Usually you'll want to fit this linearly. So we're going to click linear and you can display the equation on the chart. As you can see, it pops over here. You can see you can also fit exponential if you want. But uh, as you can see, some of the trend lines you may want to fit won't work. So once again, just to show you again, right click, tr add trend line. Make sure it's linear if you're trying to fit a data linearly. Display equation on chart so you can figure out the slope. You can also display the R value on the chart. If you want, that gives you the error on your, um, on your calculation, your line fitting. Hit close. You can, I like to move this uh, equation to somewhere down here where it's easy to read. And there you have it. This is how you make a basic graph in Excel with your data. You can uh, put any kind of um, information here. So this it doesn't have to be time or temperature, depending on what kind of measurements you're taking. Maybe you want to relate the mass or something to its height. Uh, you can do that. And make one thing to note, though, is that you should put your depend independent variable in the first column and your dependent variables in the second in the in the following columns so for example x is our independent variable so you want x to be time time is our independent variable so you want to put it first before the temperature and that's it a very simple and fast tutorial on how to do a generic um, excel plot in the next tutorial, we'll look at some tricks um, and some maybe common errors and questions that might come up as you're trying trying this out on your own. And then we'll look at some log log plots. Thanks.